Hello everyone, welcome back to another ebook tutorial. Welcome, welcome. So the last two tutorials that we did, we looked at how to create an ebook, right? And we looked at how you can edit an ebook as well, making the page flip, making the page look thick, making the hardcover of the book, let the spinal part of the book show, right? How you can change the toolbar, add your logo into it, and so forth. Looking at the mobile mode of the ebook, we looked at all of those stuff. How you can actually um, publish your ebook to be an executable file. All right, we looked at all those things. If you didn't see that tutorial, please click at the link at the top right hand corner and look in the link in the description for the software used to create this ebook. All right, so let's go. So today, we are looking at some more editing of the ebook, how you can actually add music to your ebook and how you can actually add videos. All right. So we're going to look at how you can add videos and music to your ebook. Let's go. So still we are using Flip PDF Professional 2.4. Right here you see edit pages. All right. So let us go to edit pages. And then you will be brought to a different section. If you look at the top, you see hand, HTML, movie, open link, movie, YouTube, Vimeo, audio, image, sidebar, text, flash, hotspot, button, and more. We won't be looking at all of these things, right? We'll be only be looking at how to add a video and an audio. You can download the you can download the, the software. Um, and take your time and go through every single thing, get yourself familiar with it. Remember, Flip PDF offer this on their website. They have a trial version and there's a full version that you have to pay for. It's a wonderful software. If you buy it, you won't regret buying it, right? You can use it for your business. So let's go. So you can select exactly which one of these you want to implement and where, which one of the pages you want to put it. Obviously, it won't be my first page. So I'm going to use the page at the back right here with a lot of space where I'm going to put a movie. You can put YouTube videos if you so um, like to do so. But I'll be adding a movie. Then you can select the type of video player skin that you would want to have in there. I'm going to use this one. And then you, where you realize that there is four lines. It is two lines actually or four lines that meet in the center, whichever way you want to put it. and then. You can use this to decide where you want to place it. I'm going to place it, man, right here. Good. All right. And then I'm going to expand. I'm going to expand my video like that and like that. And like that. All right. You know, make it big enough. Well, if you want to even have a page just dedicated only for having that video, it is all up to you. Right on the right hand side, there is some other um, examples of the same um, video player skins of what it actually look like. You can decide whatever it is as well as to your preference. All right, good. When you have done this, look at the top right hand corner. You will see select video file and you have start playing. So you select video file right there. All right whether you want to take it from the uh, URL, so you can copy and paste the URL of the video that you want to add there, it's all up to you, or if it's a local file, right? So I'm gonna use a local file, um, where it is, good, open. So let us start playing to see what it looks like, to see if it is playing. Wonderful, my video is working. Great. So yes, that worked. Wonderful. You can change the type as well, as I said. All right, so start playing. Which one of these is better? Let me think about it. I'm going to use this one instead. I'm going to use. All right, so let's move down. 
you can have a reflection, you know, like um if you want to. I I don't think I don't think I need to have it. I'm not gonna put mine there. It's all up to you. Right? You can have different settings there. Um so that's typically it for it for adding a video all right so you can select when do you want it to play right you can you can maintain that aspect ratio which means that when it is playing it will stay at the as current aspect ratio that it is at all up to you right you can start playing as when entering this page which is what i'm going to put and stop playing when leaving this page i think that is quite fine and then you're going to click on save changes are made wonderful a video is now added to that page now i'm going to add an audio file so let me go back up All right you wouldn't want to add an audio file on the same page that you actually have a video so i'm going to set my second page i'm going to add an audio file All right the different audio plays that are there now you may want to have the audio being played without the person knowing that it is being played like well knowing or seeing the video play i should say <laughs> all right um i'm going to select this one put it right here let me scroll down scroll 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 Good. Select audio file. Let me select the file now. Uh, I have to be careful of the video that I the the audio that I'm using because I do not want I do, do not want YouTube to strike me for it. So I'm gonna these are free audios. Alright, I'm gonna use one of these. It's one of my favorite. Let me see. Energy or elevate. Elevate or inspire. Inspire. Wonderful. Let us play and see if we hear anything. Yes. And it is working. Wonderful. All right. So we heard our audio, which is wonderful. All right, so you can decide at the volume in which you want the audio to be, right? And if you want, how many times you want it to be um, looped, you use negative one if you want it to continue play over and over and over. Um, and the, the volume, because it is very low in my ears when I played it a while ago. All right, so that is how you add an audio file to it. All right. And you click on save. No, I I promise that it was only an audio and uh, video that we add. I'm gonna add an image to it as well. If you want to add an image, I'm gonna add the image at the back, right here. Let me zoom out a little. Image, right in the center. All right. Um, you can have it. You can select a filter where you want it black and white and so forth, or right, where you want to have a frame around it. Right, it's up to you. Right, I'm gonna allow mine to be to to, to be at the default. I'm gonna select my file, libraries, pictures, and here you go. And that's how you add an image. There are some settings over here. If you want to use, it's all up to you. You can crop it if you want. All right. All up to you. All right. So that's the addition that I made. So I'm going to save and exit. Right. Which is at the top right hand corner. And let us see if it actually works. All 
right, there you go. And I put the page in here. Good. And there is my video. Wonderful. And my image at the back. All right, good. So that is how you add an audio, a video, and an image to your ebook. Now is the time for us to publish our ebook. All right. And when I mean by publish, I won't be using the software to open it at all. And we're going to see if all these things that we added will still work. So you go to publish. Now you can, if you have a server, you can publish it publish it to the server where other persons are connected to that server and may can have the ebook available to them. You can email it, all right? You can upload it online as well, if you don't mind. Um, when you upload online, I think uh, Flip PDF server is what you would use, all right? So person can have it accessible. There are some ebook platforms online that allow you to put your ebooks on, on, on there so persons can find it. So I'm gonna click on publish. I'm going to select exe file. My file name is what is an ebook. Good. Oh, and then there's one. There is wonderful news I'm going to show you right now. You can allow if you have a company or business that has a logo. You can allow the book to to have the 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 image of your logo, and let me show you how that works. So I'm going to go to Advance, right? As you can see, legal copyright company and so forth. This is the icon. I'm going to change this icon, right? I'm going to use. I'm going to click on all files. I'm going to select this one, right? You see that? I click on OK, and then I'm going to convert it. Make sure it is flash HTML file. All right, good. Convert. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, open folder. So if you look, look at this, everyone. You see, you see what is is what is an ebook. And you see, this is my YouTube channel logo as the icon for the ebook. So you can select a logo for the icon of the ebook. All right. So if you put it on a server and persons are downloading it on their devices, when they download it, they will be seeing your company's logo. All right. So let me click on it. Ah. Wonderful. And you see the caption, what is an ebook? You see my logo here, right? Which I did from the first tutorial. And look at the book and the hardcover, the cover of it. Let me skip. Okay, and there you go. So every single thing that we did on the ebook um, actually works. It's completed, and there you have an ebook. All right. I hope everyone learned something today. I hope you appreciate the work that was put into for this tutorial. Please do so by subscribing to our channel, by supporting this this channel for more content like these. Please remember to comment so that we can know what other information that you would like us to do tutorials on or content or topics that you would like us to give you information on. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And remember, eTech Technology, the one-stop place for all computer science, digital media information. Have a wonderful day.